five minutes after seven o'clock in Trinidad and Tobago. Well, we're now into lesson number three of four in our Trinidad Bhojpuri. And in this lesson, uh, we'll focus and continue to focus on expressions. We'll also have uh, the opportunity uh, to view a, a short clip of a conversation in uh, Bhojpuri. Because of some technical challenges, we won't be able to play the song that we were going to play, but uh, we'll probably talk about it if time allows. Uh, once again, we're joined by Dr. Visham Bimal uh, of, uh, of uh, Caribbean uh, Bhojpuri and, and talk Caribbean Hindustani, excuse me, uh, Caribbean Hindustani. And indeed, uh, he has an, an event that's coming up next week, Tuesday, which is the 28th. But before we get to that, let's do some, some practicing, shall we? Let, let, let's see how much I don't know from, from the lessons of the, of, of the last two Mondays. So l let me begin according to the script that has been provided to me. Uh, good morning, Dr. Bimal. Hi, Sanhar. Um, hum, hum khushi ba kahe ki Indian Arrival Day uh, Awela. Han, Indian Arrival Day Awela, uh, katum kar, karat bi, karat ba idin me. Idin uh, ek uh, uh, bhojpuri tok uh, UE library me hum karab aur uh, mein hum mange nimantran dewe logo ke. Are, aur batawa hum loke. Okay, you did really well. Uh, yes, uh, <laughs> but with uh, actually accent, obviously. Understand? <laughs> yeah, man. So, for for those who didn't understand, how, well, I'll they, they would have got some words in here. Yeah, yeah, that's the point. The, the, the Kaisen Hall would be with, and, and, and so on. So let let's translate thereafter, shall we? Sure. It, we would just he asked me how uh, you asked me how I was doing, and I said I'm very happy because Indian Arrival Day is coming, and you said yes, yes, it's coming. And uh, he, you asked me, well, what are you going to do on an arrival day? Which we use last week expressions, right? right. And uh, now I'll, I'll just go into it. So after this uh, four-part series, there will be a talk at the University of the West Indies in the uh, Alma Jordan Library. Um, uh, the, the venue is there. I just can't remember the name if you could yeah, The Alma Jordan, Jordan Library, the audiovisual room, third floor at the University of the West Indies in St. Augustine. It's going to be not tomorrow, next Tuesday, 5 p.m., to 7 p.m. It's being put on by Caribbean Hindustani, founded uh, by Dr. Visham Bimal. It's entitled Trinidad Bhojpuri Decoding Identity. You will be the presenter. So tell us if people want to be part of this particular right. exercise, what do they have to do? Um, you, the Alma Jordan Library has a Facebook page. You just go to the event. Um, the event is there, you'll see the contact information. Just notice is limited seating. So if you really want to attend, call on uh, RSVP now, right? Uh, and it's uh, up after, it will be the day after the last episode of uh, this uh, segment. Of this, uh, yes. So uh, it's, it's, it's good feedback from the populace to see now, okay, where do we move forward? With Trinidad, which what sort of feedback have you got so far? We've had a couple of episodes. What sort of feedback have you got? Actually, a really good episode because uh, a lot of people weren't aware about the existence of Trinidad Bhojpuri as a language, as separate from Hindi. A lot of people still think it's broken Hindi, and it's not. Just like people think Pato is broken French, but it's not. And and the, and a lot of people have expressed uh, renewed uh, uh, self-awareness, renewed uh, pride in their identity as Indo-Caribbean. And as we, before we move along with, 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 because we have quite a bit of work to do sure, uh, uh, this time. morning as well. Uh, settle for me the, the, the issue about the meaning between puhar and labisa, because those are words that are used quite frequently. Right. Uh, and in fact, even in, in, in the various places, people who are not of East Indian descent get accustomed to it as Usually well and they use it yeah, also. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, puhar and labisa. Right. So, you, you, you want to also uh, to note that uh, words of uh, Trinidad, Bhutpur region, is, is in our Trinidad English Creole vernacular, are used every day. Yes. Um, even, we could say it's in our sta um, standard Trinidad English, because it's used in Parliament. Um, uh, as well as uh, in formal settings. Uh, note that uh, Bhojpuri and Hindi share similar vocabulary, like we said, Italian and, 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 and Spanish. Um, now, I would only tell you based on the research and how I would have heard them use, be used, especially as a child, or in interviews, um, I remember Puhar would usually describe a person or place that is uh, essentially that's the dirty, don't care, it, it tells unkempt, of... Unkempt, untidy, unkempt, half, that's the word, halfway, yes. sort right. of thing. Ladbesar, it wouldn't say, I never heard it is a Ladbesar place. Also Ladbesar, I never, it never occurred in Hindi or formal Hindi that I learned. Puhar does that's a, that's a, But Ladbesar would be a, a Bhojpuri, Bhojpuri word. specifically, and it would be heard in the villages. And I have heard it only used to describe an uh, unkempt person, a person who is lazy fair, that kind of thing. Right, so, so again, loosely to understand it, 
Poor heart means like, why you had to play so halfway? Poor heart, so yeah, so unkempt. You clean yeah. up your room. And yeah, 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 yeah. One. Yeah. La Besa would appear to describe a, a personality trait. Right. Like you're so halfway, you're so unkempt, you're so... But you, you, know, could, also, you could also make it a compound. So why are you doing it as La Besa we? Yeah. Right? Um, I just want to add the word Langjar. I remember my mom used to come when the room was in a mess. And she used to say, which is a poor room. Right. And so the paraphernalia around that makes it poor. She used to say, where's all this lung jar here? Yeah. <laughs> so you, make so it, you make it make <laughs> do more work than I expected. Sure, to. sure. L let's let's move, al move along in, in, our, in our lessons today. Go right ahead. Okay. So uh, we're just looking at the expressions. So we're building on expressions. That's why I uh, use the dialogue that we have in the beginning. But um, the expressions uh, that... We'll, we'll uh, check on and see if we can put them up on, on, on the screen for you as well because we want more of yeah, viewers. Yeah, because I want the viewers to, to see to what I'm saying as well. To get a, a yeah? sense of them as, as, as soon as we... Because we, uh, we, here we and them. unseen it written would actually cause it to consolidate in your minds. Okay, so the first expression is ham uh, kusiba. I had used that in the conversation when you asked me how I was. Right. Now we know the standard. Right, so we have it up on the screen. So let's, let's go okay, ahead. Okay, good. Right. Yeah, so this, this standard, uh, the standard Hindi is kushi. We all know this from Bollywood films and so on. Um, the sha is not in Trinidad Bhojpuri is sa, so it becomes khusi, and not khushi, kh, that, right. that has not got right. So it's ham khusi, ba, but, ham but, khusi but looking at the literal uh, representation of it, there's no I, so, so you would say ham khusba. Yeah, ham khusba, right, right, yeah, okay, you're correct. Ah, khusi is happiness, khus is happy. Okay, Adjective right. versus noun, right? So ham khusba Ham khusba, happy. sorry, right, right. yes. Okay. And the uh, converse is duk. So right. I just give happy versus sad, right? right. Um, acha we know means well or good. I just want to know that acha could be used in different contexts. Like in French, you say vraiment, mm. which is really. Yeah. Um, so you could actually use it acha, are acha. Mm. So you could also use it in different contexts. It depends on the tone. Um, ham kus, it's supposed to be naba, opposite. Oh, right. I wanted to show negative. Na is the negation, negation right? Right. Ham kus naba, and um, you could. Put in any noun there, whether English or uh, 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 Hindustani. So I could ask you, um, um, Tum Fazir ba? Are you Fazir? Right. Right, as a question. And then, uh, so, e u that we use E in Trinidad English Creole, like E A E Z na boy. Right. 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 Um, e is the, uh, this is she, he, she, he, she or it. Right. right. So you could ask the question, um, E kaun ba? Right. E kaunba. Right. If the person is right here, right. but if the person is on somewhere else, you say u kaunba. So that's a proximity thing. That doesn't occur in English. Okay. Just right. one question. I'll be looking at it still sure. on the screen. Sure. Uh, acha. I, is there uh, like depend? You say acha depending whether it's uh, a familiarity or, or if it's a senior person. Or uh, are there any different phrases that are used? Or the acha is is, is general. Give me context. You yeah. Like for example, like how you would say you remember you, last thing you talked about the Spanish. You would say usted and that sort of thing. Is there, are there, are there different? Uh, Ways and expressions say used depending on when you say well, you're speaking to an adult or yes. you're speaking to a, a person yeah, 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 yeah. Of, of a higher station right. and such. So, so not a chavi is an example. We want to use the, the, the you form because you see it in all the languages. Usted versus tu right. in Spanish or vous versus uh, tu in French. Right. So uh, the, the converse is, remember, ap in formal Hindi is the most polite. Okay. But that does not occur in Trinidad Bhojpuri, that occurs in Sarnami. Right. Today's conversation will be somebody who speaks in Sarnami okay. and I'm speaking in Trinidad Bhojpuri. So you look at it. France. Um, so, tum is most formal in Trinidad Bhojpuri and tu is most familiar and polite. All right. I think we have a couple more uh, phrases. Uh, express I think it's uh, page mm. two of uh, the, uh, the expressions that we want to put up for you. Let's uh, get them up as quickly oh, as possible. Yeah, okay. All right. Let's, let's go ahead. Quickly. Yeah. So, um, e u e hamar uh, ba. Hamar, as I said, is, is the equivalent of my or mera in Hindi. So, you want to say uh, things like, you could, uh, so I put the, um, the nouns. And you could fit it in where the dot dot is. So you could say, E hamar aja ajiba, E hamar nana nani ba, mai bap, bhai behin, and you see the meaning there, and those is friend, right? Um, note that how scientific Hindustani is in that to say p paternal grandmother or grandfather is a specific word. Right. Like Sanskrit or Latin, where it actually has one word. Uh, to describe, to, to, to translate it, you might need two, two or three words in English or any other modern language. Which is significant to note because we, in, in English, you just say grandmother, grandfather, and uncle, and so on. In 
Hindi or Bhojpuri or some other languages, there's a, a clear word used, whether it's a maternal grandfather, right, a paternal, and that's a, that sort of I thing. I want to point the roots in uh, Sanskrit, Prakrit, which I spoke in the first episode as equivalent to Latin, is that uh, all, uh, so pa, relatives with pa, comes from your father or paternal side, and ma comes from your maternal side. It shows a link in roots. So for instance, mausi mm -hmm. would be your mother's sister. But Pua would be your father's sister, so it bears reference. So, so just by the reference of the of the name you use, you would know clearly how the family connection works. And I show you how it related to Latin paternal and maternal, pa and ma. Right. It it, it goes all the way from India to Europe. Seven fifteen in Trinidad and Tobago. Lots of homework, which I failed miserably in. You did but not. We're, we're going to continue <laughs> with our lesson uh, right after this break here. Lesson number three of Trinidad, uh, Bhojpuri, and indeed we'll remind you as well about uh, the event that is coming up next week, Tuesday, when we come back after the break. Seven eighteen coming up towards seven nineteen in Trinidad and Tobago. Someone mentioned to me that they find those time checks very useful for them when they're, they're following the program around. If they don't have to be watching, uh, that they're getting these time checks very important. And in any morning program, that we're particularly mindful of the timeliness of it, and we appreciate uh, that 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 recognition as well. So we're, we're trying to keep you, even as you're on the move, uh, informed on on your timeliness as well. But let's continue our dialogue with Dr. Vishan Bimal with lesson number three on Trinidad Bhojpuri, reminding you as well that coming up next Tuesday, not tomorrow, next week Tuesday, uh, there's going to be Trinidad Bhojpuri decoding identity with presenter Dr. Abimal 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. It follows our final class next Monday. It'll be on the third floor of the AV room of the Alma Jordan Library. You can go to Facebook to get uh, uh, registered. Uh, is there a cost for, for, for registering? No, exactly. Free to the public and uh, uh, next week I would probably uh, give a number because I can get in contact information in time. Right, so, so, so should we have the number by next week as well and uh, to, to, to give you that so let's move along because because time is going by proverb time mm -hmm. and this is one that will will, will resonate with everybody because you'll realize it's a very familiar phrase but I don't know if we have it available to put it up on the screen yes we do let, let, let's go on and, and put it up now so we can get you ready for our proverb uh, which is going to go up uh, right now let's see if we can put it up uh, there we go all right so it's John hoi join John hoi ta hoi John Hoita Hoy, which right. means, right? Just to correct the correct pronunciation. Lovely Trinidad accent in your Hindustani. Oh my God. <laughs> That's fine. Um, no, I need to put the diacritics at the top. Right. It's a long e, so it's Hoi, right? Okay. John, John which is the future Hoi tense. Ta, uh, which mean, Hoi itself means will be. Right. Right. John is whatever. Right. So and and down is the correlative. So right. whatever that will. Right. Right. So it means uh, Kisera Sera. Whatever, whatever will, will be, be will, will be. be. Most appropriately, because Doris Day passed away just a few, <laughs> right. few week, days ago right. at the age of 94, and everybody remembers that song, Que Sera, Sera, whatever but, will but be. But I think be. a lot of your listeners, especially within the above 30 age bracket, would know it because it's a proper, uh, within the, uh, the Indo-Trinidad Island in community, it was a popular expression used. All right, so yeah. let, let's, let's go now to the video. And uh, uh, before we actually watch the video itself, right. before we do that, uh, just introduce it I, for us. So quickly, I just want to say, like I expressed before, like Antillean Creole has different vernaculars within the Lesser Antilles, Trinidad, Patois, uh, Martinique and Creole, um, uh, French Guyana Creole. Caribbean Hindustani is similar. It's one language with different vernaculars. Here in Suriname, Guyana and Trinidad are mutually intelligible. This interview uh, is in The Hague in the Netherlands with me and Mr. Hira. So you're speaking uh, Sanami and I'm speaking Trinidad Bhojpuri, at least I attempt to speak it. Mm -hmm. But you could see it's mutually intelligible and uh, yeah, we'll talk about it after. All right, let's, let's go and take a look at the video now. I think I'm Holland. I'm Holland. I'm Holland. I'm Holland. I'm Holland. सब अपने बच्चों के लेकर के जब हम चलाएं कुछ दिन मुझे ब्लड के मार बड़ा हो गया तब फिर कोई नहीं चाहिए लौटे के तो हम भी आ, तो आ, जीवन हॉलैंड में और और अच्छा सरनाम से वहाँ पर कोई ऐसी बात ना रहा ठीक रहा वहाँ पर ठीक रहा हाँ वहाँ पर ठीक रहा तो तो हाँ तो सरनाम में तो हर बचपन के दिन लड़कपन के दिन मैं � खेल कूद में 
छोटा रही बहुत छोटा से तो तान बान में रही अपने बाप के साथ है कुछ दंताल बजाई कि जाए लड़का रही गानों गाई कहीं छोटा हुई ग्यारह बजे के नाटक खेली आ, हिंदी जाई पढ़े स्कूल हिंदी भी जाई पढ़े रोज के स्कूल और वुमेन्स एजेंडा छे वहां वहां पर भी उसका स्कूल ऐसे ही बीता था बाहर मस्ती में रहा तो तुम्हार, तुम्हारा परिवार में बहुत गवैया गवैया रहन बात शौकीन ही रहने शौकीन ही है हाँ वो पांच में जा करके उसे पहले हमारे बड़ा दादा जो ना वो एक उस्ताद सुना मेरा जिसका नाम रहा भोटा तो हमारे आजा से मेरे दादा के मन जैसे हमारे दादा माने मेरे बाप के बड़ा भाई जो है सबसे बड़ा तो वो भोटा के साथ वो सरंगी पर और गाना गावत रहा तो करे बाद में फिर धीरे हमारे बाप अच्छा तबलसी भाई उस, उस जमाने के तो उनके साथ है हम रही जहे जहां जाए हम सबसे बड़का लड़का रही तो हम चाहे जहां जाओ तो हमें साथ ले जाए हम जाए उगर साथ है जरूर जाए तो इस तरीका से धीरे 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 हम मार भी रंग गाना बजाना और सुन में लगे so mr ram prasad uh, you were there in that mm -hmm. discussion now uh, with you and, and, and how much were you able to to appreciate as far as that, that particular dialogue the the similarity within surinamese and and trinidad uh, both for i just want to mention uh, thanks to trujenic medical for doing the subtitles sure. uh, you could visit them in freeport uh, because uh, i mean at no charge they did the subtitles for me and as a that's a difficult task Fantastic. um uh, what i wanted to say was that uh, so imagine uh, trinidad you know jamaican come in a, a room it takes them a while to acclimatize. In other words, and I remember going Ghana, right? Yes, I went to Ghana in search of Hindustani, and uh, I, I, one, I remember one of the guys had asked me uh, if you want next beer, and I was like, what? So it took me some time, and after I was there for a while, then I started understanding. So it, it, it's similar to acclimatize. People might know this because they don't understand the languages that the Surinami has Dutch, Dutch words in it, which he had said. There's more standard Hindi words, and it is more uh, avadhi oriented as opposed to Trinidad Bhuj, which is Bhuj oriented. Yes. Just to get a reference, the Ram Charitramanas of Tulsidas. We, I, I'm not sure how Okurai the audience is with that, but that's one of the major Hindu texts that w was brought during indentorship, and the one that was most referred to, even in the folk songs, is written in that Avadhi language. Sarnami is has a fl more flavor of Avadhi because of the movement from uh, Bihar into um, Avadhapur or, or Uttar Pradesh. So indentorship started later in Suriname. Time doesn't allow us to play this song. Uh, in fact, we're having some technical uh, sure, challenges sure. with it. But uh, the, the, the song itself, and I'm looking at the, the, the name of it, uh, Chalat Musafir Moholio. Yeah, yeah. Right. Chalat but, Musafir Moholio. What, what, what was the... the, the well, I mean, uh, it's unfortunate we can't play it, but most people would know it because mm -hmm. a lot of Chutney singers did sing it, sing it over. Now, I made reference to the fact that most of the songs even though, and it comes from a Kabir tradition, yes, because Kabir poems, I know people can look up the poets Kabir Das. Right. Kabir Das is a, is a world-renowned poet, even in the English-speaking world, because a lot of translations exist, and he wrote in Bhojpuri. Okay. Right? Um, but the, the references they would take, he would take, or, or at least the poets from that Bhakti movement time, would take a simple everyday situation and give a deeper meaning to it. Example this. So, they say, it, it goes, Chalata Musafir. So Musafir is a uh, standard Hindi word from Pursi Arabic origin, it means traveler. Uh, that, that was going to ask you, because Musafir, is an, is, we know it in, in, in Arabic, because in the Islamic texts and so on, well, the, the Musafir being a traveler. So it's interesting right. that that would But, but it's also to, to note that, okay, so you know the word Safar? Yes. Meri Safar, my journey. So Safar becomes uh, Musafir. Safar is a journey and Musafir is the one, the one journey. Who does, who does so that goes back to Arabic uh, 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 grammar. Yeah. Grammar, yeah. Mm. yeah. Because even in English, we, we import inflected terms from Latin. And, so and one final question before, before we conclude our, our session today. And indeed, I, I get ready to fail my next lesson, which will be the final lesson uh, next Monday, uh, God willing. His name is Ram Prasad, as distinct from Ram Prasad which is uh, how it's often pronounced in, in, in Trinidad. And for example, you can correct me wrong if I'm wrong again. If you see the name, rather than Pasad, you see Pasod, you know that's from Guyana in, in many cases. Uh, is that because of the, the, the dialects and the different pronunciations? It's because of the, we don't have time to translate the song, yeah. so I guess we could do it next week. Yeah. Um, it depends on the spelling system. We must know that uh, the 
history of Guyana, colonial is different from Trinidad and Suriname as well. So like Aram, they would say two in Suriname is C-H-A-I-T-O-E, in Dutch O-E is U, yeah. whereas it's O in English. So A-U, in, it, pronoun it is pronounced Passat. Okay. AU speaks to that representation of the long R uh, in, in, the, in the old script that would exist in colonial times in uh, Guyana. So it has to do with what, who are colonial masters and what was their standard way of representing phonetics in writing. Yeah, because obviously they had no clue of, of, the, of the language that was being spoken by. Exactly, by so it would use that standard mm -hmm. system to spell it in a Romanized script, yeah. Dr. Yuma, thank okay. you very much for joining us once again. Let's remind you that the final lesson comes up next Monday, God willing, after which there'll be Trinidad Bojpuri Decoding Identity. You can get all the information on Facebook. Uh, they'll be at the Alma Jordan Library, third floor of the AV room. The very few spaces available. Uh, and it will give you the contact number next Monday when we get to, to that. And it will be Tuesday the 28th from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, being hosted by Dr. Bimal of Caribbean Hindustani. In, in the absence of the contact go to the Facebook page and you'll get it and the Facebook page it has the event it has the event on the Facebook page of Caribbean the library Hindustani? no, no. The Caribbean Hindustani and the Alma Jordan, Jordan Library, library. Both so, events so Alma Jordan Library Caribbean Hindustani Facebook, yeah. go to those uh, pages and you'll get the necessary information it's coming up towards 728 in Trinidad Tobago we'll be back right after this